The following is a production of Learfield Sports. This copyrighted telecast is the property of Black Bear Sports Properties, LLC, an affiliate of Learfield Sports, LLC, under rights granted by the University of Maine. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, reproduction, or other dissemination or use of this telecast or any part of it without the express written consent of Black Bear Sports Properties, LLC, is prohibited. This legal disclaimer is brought to you by Lanham Blackwell & Baber, proud supporter of the Black Bears. If you have any legal questions, visit them at LanhamBlackwell.com. Hello and welcome to the Black Bear Insider. I'm your host, Brian Sullivan. Thank you very much for joining us. We are here in the pit because we're talking basketball. Men's basketball head coach Bob Walsh stops by, as does senior forward Phil Gloger. We're also going to talk a little bit about the women's basketball team. It's coach Curry, she does a lot with skills both in groups and individually. Today we'll take a look at her going one-on-one -on -one with a member of the women's basketball team as they try and hone those skills on the hardwood. Plus, we're going to hear from Mike DeVito and Matt Mulligan, two NFL guys who play football here at the university. They're going to use some of the things they've learned out in the big NFL world at a business class here at the university. Hear what they have to say coming up on the Black Bear Insider. We're also going to check in with the swim teams here at the university. They do work all year round leading up to Aaron's Run. It's in honor of a former UMaine athlete who tragically lost her battle to cancer a few years ago, but her memory still lives on this. You don't want to miss. We'll also check in on the upcoming schedule. This is the Black Bear Insider. Black Bear Insider is brought to you by Lanham Blackwell & Baber, Division of Lifelong Learning, Maine Savings, EBS Building Supplies, Fisher Plows, and Digital Workshop. No matter what your game is, indoors or out, the Student Recreation and Fitness Center at the University of Maine is your place to play, work out, relax, and have fun. The Rec Center has state-of-the-art cardio and weight training equipment, a pool, spa, and sauna, a running track, and more than 60 fitness classes a week. Or take your game outside with the Maine Bound Adventure Center. Hit the climbing or bouldering wall. Learn how to kayak, go rock climbing. Whatever game you like, the Student Recreation and Fitness Center is your place to play. Under the bright lights of your playing field, one performer continues to shine. The Fisher Extreme V. With durable X bracing, the Extreme V carries the load. With precision passes, the power to bust through, the maximum protection of the Fisher Trip Edge, and the brightest lights available. Fisher, your business, our passion. Learn more at vplowfacts.com. There are many sides to basketball star and fashion icon Russell Westbrook. And with coverage in the middle of anywhere from U.S. Cellular, he can find some new ones. Like farm. Russell's Brussels. Russell speaking. Paleontologist. Hashtag T-Rex. Park Ranger. Where am I? And TV spokesperson. That's my line. I got it. With U.S. Cellular, Cellular, you can do all the things you like. But in the middle of anywhere. That is my line. Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider now, joined by Maine men's basketball coach Bob Walsh. Bob, thanks a lot for stopping by. Happy to be here. Now it's your second year running the program here, and it seems like guys are really starting to buy into uh, what your philosophy. Explain to our, our viewers what that philosophy is. Well, it starts with how we compete. So we want guys who love the game and want to be pushed to be great. And we feel like the veteran guys that we have in the program understand that now. We brought in a lot of new guys uh, who love being in the gym. They have great personalities. Uh, they love getting after it every day. We want guys who want to compete, and, and we have a staff that's going to push them to be great 
that's what we want with the guys in our program. Now take us through, if you can, uh, 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 one of practice, uh, one of your main practices here. Oh, what kind of high intensity is what I hear? Yeah, it's pretty intense. So we expect our guys to be mentally prepared for practice. I think that's something that they have to learn when they get here. Uh, and then they've got to be focused and they've got to be ready to compete, give great effort. We can make a lot of mistakes. We want to learn to play through our mistakes. Uh, but it's very efficient. It's very rapid. It's generally pretty loud and it's pretty intense. Yeah, it sounds pretty fun. Uh, now, you, I've heard you use the term meritocracy before. Uh, what does that mean? Well, we take those practices, basically what it means is we earn what we get. So, you know, the playing time in our program is earned. The, the people you see out on the floor, they earn that in practice every day. So it's, everything we do is based on merit. It has nothing to do with seniority. It has nothing to do with uh, what you've done in the past, what your reputation was coming in. It's a meritocracy. It's based on what we do in this gym every day. In playing time, at the end of the day, that's the ultimate carrot at the end of the stick. So if you want it, you got to earn it, and you do that in practice. Yeah, that's the reward. And we'll talk about playing time. Obviously, everybody wants to play. We want them to want to play more. But for the most part, we, we, make, uh, we make the goals really clear what you're expected to do every day. And then that's how you earn your playing time. So the guys know it. You've got to be able to come out here and beat that guy next to you in practice to earn that playing time. Now, talk to me about the uh, the makeup of this year's squad. You brought in some new guys, as you mentioned. Uh, they're very athletic. Uh, you're going to want to run the ball up and down the court. Yeah, I think we have a more athletic team. We have more athletic guys who can get up and down. Um, we're versatile. We have a lot of guys that maybe don't fit into one position but can play two or three positions. So there can be a lot of different combinations out there. And we hope we're pretty deep. we got a lot of guys that can play. So and, and really a good personality. It's a fun group to be around. They enjoy getting after it together. So that makes it fun every day. No, we're in the middle of the holiday season. Is it ever difficult to navigate? You know, we're past Thanksgiving, but then you've got a lot of things going on, a lot of outsized factors. Is it ever difficult to kind of keep the focus on the court? It's actually always difficult. It's difficult for coaches as well. You know, one of the... There aren't a lot of negatives about the job that we do, but we play right through Thanksgiving, we play right through Christmas, so you don't get to make plans necessarily to go home the way you want to, and maybe you get a day off here or there. You know, this year we're going to have practice on Christmas Day, so uh, you get to stay together as a team a lot during the holidays, but you don't get a lot of time with your family, so it's a balance that we really have to find. We understand what we do is important, but we want to have some time to take a break and get with the families. Sure. Now uh, you navigate your way through the holiday season as well as the out-of-conference schedule. Then you get ready for America East. I believe January 6th is the first America East uh, conference game. Talk to me about how you think this team stacks up against the other America East Well, we're finding out right now. Uh, you know, our league is going to be really good. Almost all of the all-league players are back. So if you look at every team in our league, almost everyone is as good or getting better. So... Uh, you know, the top four teams pretty much have everybody back. The non-conference schedule is really uh, how we sort of learn to win in our league, hopefully. So uh, we've got a lot of young guys. We've got a, new, a lot of new guys, but we've got a lot of talent. So, uh, you know, how that stacks up against the America East remains to be seen. In order to be successful, what has to happen for the Black Bears? Well, we've got to compete at a high level consistently and practice every day. We've got to show the level of toughness. Uh, that you need to win games both home and on the road. Uh, we've got to learn to be great defensively, and we're going to have to do a great job as a team on the glass as far as basketball factors that I think are really keys to us being successful. All right, Maine men's basketball. Check them out at the Cross Center all season long. When we come back on the Black Bear Insider, we're going to hear from another member of the squad, Till Gloger. That's when the Black Bear Insider comes back. Don't go away. We could move some investments, but your real problem is your checking account. It's awful. You get nothing in return, and you pay monthly fees. Doesn't everybody? Not if we move you into the red. I thought red meant negative. Not that kind of red. Red Wallet Checking from Maine Savings. Red Wallet is free checking with monthly rewards and ATM fee refunds. Red Wallet offers rewards of high interest, cash back, or even tunes. Open your free Red Wallet account today, only at Maine Savings. EBS Building Supplies knows time is the most valuable resource you have. That's why they offer free delivery anywhere in their service area. Fast, convenient, and free. That's the EBS way. So whether you're a professional contractor or a do-it-yourself homeowner, no delivery is too small or too big. And custom ordering is always available. Use EBS free delivery to make your life easier and your home improvement project complete faster. EBS Building Supplies. Can do. Just ask. Getting your education through UMaine Online offers all the advantages you'd expect. Access to the state's premier public research institution, world-class faculty who are leaders in their fields. 
active learning and interaction with your professors and classmates, a flexible schedule where and when you need it, online student services dedicated to your success. You main online where you want to be. Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider. Now joined by Maine men's basketball senior forward Till Gloger. Till, how you feeling, man? Uh, good, thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Now I want to start with uh, you are a senior leader on the Black Bear squad, but you've been through a lot in your time. What's it been like as uh, you've gone through regime changes as a, as a player? Yeah, for a long time. I mean, there has been a lot of change since I'm here. So yeah, it's a lot of different now than I came here. You know, in 2012. So yeah, it's it's different now, but I enjoy it. How is it different? I was different. I mean, we had a different coach. Obviously, I think that was the major change. So, Coach Walsh is trying to establish a new culture, and uh, yeah, we started from scratch last year. It's everybody, everything started from zero. So, I think that's the biggest change. Like everything, what was before, what we had was uh, it's all gone. So now we start to build a, a new program. Do you feel like the guys have embraced the, this new program? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, our recruiting class is tremendous. I think there's so much energy and uh, really talented guys which they brought in uh, and I think here yeah, it's, it's a bright future for the program. What's it like at practice uh, under Coach Walsh? Um, I mean it's always high intensity. We, he always expect, expects us to uh, be great, uh, always give 100%, mentally focus. that's about it. How have, how have you changed as a player from when you first arrived here in Orno? Um, I think I really like develop my skill set more. I got more athletic. I got faster, better conditioning, especially like over the summer until for this season, I think. Yeah, and I mean, uh, I adjusted to college basketball. It's different than in Europe. Sure. How's it different? Uh, the playing style is different. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot faster. It's a lot more athletic. Um, yeah, I think that's the biggest difference. And uh, you think that uh, your skill set has translated well now that you're in your senior year? Yeah, I definitely think so, yeah. I mean, I worked on it. It was a major like, aspect I wanted to work on over the summer. So uh, we stayed here over the summer and I really worked on that. Now in the second year under Coach Walsh, how do you feel like the team's come together? Yeah, I mean, we had a tough, tough start now. But I think, uh, yeah, we're progressing and uh, just going to get the first win very soon. Hopefully next game. Right? Absolutely. Now, yeah. uh, what's uh, when is the main basketball team at its best? What is what's going on when you guys are playing your best basketball? Um, I think when we run the floor. I think that's the major major issue. Like when we, I mean, when we get the ball and we we get the ball and we we out. You know, uh, we run the floor and we lay it in. Easy points. I think that's sure. when we play the best. And do you feel like this is the team that has the makeup to to play that kind of basketball? Yeah, that's why, that's why we got so many new guys, because they're able to run the floor, they're able to uh, play that kind of basketball. And real quickly, you look through the America East, it's really where uh, you got to make your money as a college basketball player in conference play. How do you think you measure up against the other America East teams? Yeah, I think, I mean, we're confident we're going to be good in, in conference play. Now it's not conference, so we got we to gotta start building, and then in January when it starts, yeah, that's when it counts, really. Okay, so we'll look forward to that. Thank you very much. When the Black Bear Insider returns, we're going to talk a little bit about the NFL. In particular, two guys who used to go here to the University of Maine, Matt Mulligan and Mike DeVito. They came back and gave some of their expertise to a business class here on campus. Don't go away.
Hey Black Bear fans, this is Brett Baber with Lanham, Blackwell & Baber, and this is Compliance Corner. We're here to help you understand some of the most misunderstood rules and regulations that commonly affect our Black Bear athletes and programs. Today I'd like to talk to you about what defines a booster and who a booster is. A booster is anyone who has ever promoted the athletic department, provided services for UMaine Athletics, made any financial contribution to any team or the athletic department, purchased season tickets to any Black Bear program, works or worked for the athletic department, or is the spouse of someone who has done so, and has otherwise promoted the athletic department or program in any manner. Here is the most important thing to remember. Once you've been identified as a booster, you retain that title indefinitely. So if you have any questions about this or any other compliance questions, feel free to contact the Black Bear Compliance Office at 207-581-1537 or visit goblackbears.com slash information slash compliance. This has been Compliance Corner, brought to you by Lanham, Blackwell & Baber. Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider. We're now going to focus our attention in the classroom. NFL guys Matt Mulligan and Mike DeVito coming back to the university to speak to a business class promoting one message, hard work pays off. This program uh, I'm so excited about. Uh, what Sean McKenna is doing here uh, with this leadership program is going to make such a huge difference in these kids' lives. Uh, I actually took the class last year to finish my, my degree here at Maine and the stuff that you learn is so practical. Um, so I'm hoping to bring that to these guys today, stuff that they can leave here with. Uh, a lot of stuff uh, dealing with you know, my time in the NFL and then my time here in college. And just like I said before, just the extra things that you can do. Uh, it's funny because now the business world is kind of seeing how this works for athletes, world-class athletes, and they're applying the same kind of things uh, in the corporate setting. I think when you think about the business world, people are always trying to, they're trying to further along in their career. Not that everybody isn't, but business definitely per se, from what I have seen. You know, from corporations to guys who are CEO, it's, it's crazy competitive because if you don't do it, the next guy will. And that's the same thing with football. You think about it this way, every year that comes in, I'm getting older, I'm 30 now, and every young buck that's coming in that's playing tight end or even a different position is trying to take my spot on the team. So that competitive nature, I think, is something that correlates from both worlds. I think the difference in the NFL is, just like I said, everybody's big, everybody's fast, everybody's strong at the highest level. So now it's the secondary things. What kind of little things can you do to get an edge over the other guy? Whether it be extra film study, whether it be you know higher nutritionists, uh, the mental and emotional game is huge now uh, with the sports psychologists and the things that they have to offer. Uh, and you're seeing it get implemented to guys even younger now. Um, in the, the combine level where these guys come out of college, they're getting filled with this stuff as well. So um, it's, it's about trying to find the little things to give yourself uh, an edge over the other guys because everybody's equal physically now it's about who mentally can do it better i don't think you're ever prepared enough when you're a rookie in the national football league unfortunately it's just the way it is like in, you know whether you play at at the most elite schools alabama lsu etc or you play at you know a division uh, one double a or you know the the championship series now uh, powerhouse like maine is uh, you just there's so many things that you got to learn and the game is a lot quicker the guys necessarily aren't that much bigger but they're smarter and they're older. So you're going from playing against guys your own age from 18 to 20, 20, you know, 23 years old, to now you're playing against grown men who can be up 35 years old and they got four kids. Like, it's a different story and it's a different type of football as well. It's, uh, it's something that you, you've got to uh, get accustomed to real quick. But at the end of the day, like, football is football. If you're good at that and you're physical and you have a good mindset, um, you can succeed. The coaches here really invest in their guys. And I think it, it, it speaks to the fact, you, you know, everybody's fast, everybody's strong. Um, in, uh, you know, throughout the college level. But, you know, Maine, I, I believe, at, at some point had the most players in the NFL for any Division I AA school. And I really think it's because of the time these coaches and this organization takes to invest in us. And so um, these coaches really helped me grow up. Uh, my teammates, they brought in great guys to be around. Uh, it's a fun atmosphere. It's a family atmosphere. And I think that that, that is the, that what sets us apart from the other places I went uh, to visit when I was getting recruited. Being here in this business school uh, was fantastic, and, and you know, right now, uh, you know, God's allowed me to play football. But afterwards, because of the degree of finishing when I was here, I'm able to kind of go on and, and further whatever career would be next. 
you get caught up in it, it becomes your daily routine, and sometimes you forget, like, wow, I'm putting on an NFL jersey. You know, I'm running out into a field in front of 80,000 people. Um, so it is. So when, you, when I sit back and reflect and think about how blessed I've been, I'm just truly grateful for it. Back in 2010, former University of Maine swimmer Erin Woolley tragically lost her battle with cancer, but her memory has lived on. And the current athletes here with the swim team at UMaine, they do work all year round leading up to their Erin's Run event, which has become a staple on the waterfront in downtown Bangor. Uh, about three years ago, Ben Sprague, um, which was a classmate of Aaron's from Bangor High School, designed this run. Um, and I think they reached out to us as they know Erin was a four-year swimmer here uh, with our program and what she meant to our program. I started my freshman year just going to weekly meetings and started helping out. It's a 5K run that is in honor of her memory. And so we get like a lot of the community in and the whole team participates. Uh, a couple of us are on the board, um, I, myself and one of the swimmers, Sammy Matthew, um, and we meet like monthly and then it's going to be bi-weekly once it gets closer to the date of Aaron's run. Um, and we just go over the logistics of what's going to happen the day of to make sure we're organized and that we, you know, from my standpoint, that we have enough people manning the course. So the swimmers are out and about on the course with signs kind of cheering everybody on and pointing them in the right direction. Definitely great because we didn't personally know her because we're seniors now, but um, just to help out and honor her is a great feeling, knowing that we're doing something good. Yeah, I think Erin was a one of a kind when she was swimming here. She had uh, a zest for life. She was always happy. She was always dancing. So I think she had the right attitude in lots of different ways. And we saw that here at the pool. So I think um, to, for everyone on my team to strive to be a little bit like Erin every day um, is what that means to us. We get a portion of what is earned during Erin's run. We share that with Spruce Run. Um, and so each of us, you know, can do whatever we want with that money. So our money um, is put away and we've been able to use that for the banners that are behind me and a brand new record board look, that looks great. I definitely see more people stepping up and going to the, the meetings as I graduate and the team will always be involved. We would love to continue to be a part of Aaron's run. Um, it means a lot to me. So I think and it's the kids learn about Aaron through our award and just what she's meant. And so they love the run also, they look forward to it. Um, and it's just a great place down at the waterfront, you know, and a great location um, and a good course to run at. Some of the athletes choose to run that race. I run it one time and may run it again. So um, yeah, I would like to continue being a part of that. When the Black Bear Insider returns, we're gonna go inside women's basketball practice. It's not all five on five up and down the court. Sometimes it's one on one work that gets you over the hump. We wanna make less dribbles. In transition, you push, body see. Good morning, what can I get for you? A medium hot coffee, cream and two sugars, please. Medium hot coffee, cream, two sugar, sounds good. At Dunkin', we make your coffee just the way you like it. If not, we'll make it again on the spot. See you tomorrow. That's the DD commitment. America runs on Dunkin'. Oh, wait, wait. I'm gonna need you to ring these all up separately, please. Separately. Oh, seriously with the dime thing again? What? I earn a dime every time I swipe. Now hand me those socks. Nope, just one at a time. With Make Sense Checking from Gorham Savings Bank, you earn 10 cents on all debit card purchases that post and clear. Apply online in as little as five minutes. Thank you. Another dime. There are many sides to basketball star and fashion icon Russell Westbrook. And with coverage in the middle of anywhere from US Cellular, he can find some new ones. Like farm. Brussels, Brussels. Brussels speaking. Paleontologist. Hashtag T Rex. Park Ranger. Where am I? And TV spokesperson. That's my life. I got it. With you a cellular, you can do all the things you like. From the middle of anywhere. That is my line. Duncan's new sweet black pepper bacon sandwich with double the slices of caramelized crispy peppered bacon. It's the bacon experience you've been waiting for. Bacon up. America runs on Duncan. Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider. Sky high expectations for the Maine women's basketball team so far this year. And a lot of that comes from individual work, but not on game day. Some of that work taking place behind me as we speak. Take a look at what Coach Curry has to say. I was brought here to help as an assistant coach for player development, and that entails increasing the players' basketball skills and their basketball IQ also. 
So I work on drills and skills on and off the court to make our players more efficient in our offense. Make sure you body shift, okay? Body shift, I mean, when we're talking about body shift, that's shifting your body, shifting the weight, left to right. Getting your defender to be like, okay, which way is she going? But I want you to watch how when he decides to move, it's just explosive. It's no wasted movement, no wasted dribbling. Once he attack, it's there. And he's, and you see how hard it, that, yeah, you see? Is, yeah. That's what we're gonna work on today. You coming down hard, the hard shifting in and out. Not the just stationary in and out. We're gonna work on a body shift in and out today. You seen his last dribble was out. Push it out, boom. There we go. Good T, good T. What's this drill all about? Um, she's just working on her passing on the wall. It's a pound pass drill that we do. So players are allowed, um, able to pass off the dribble. And she has to hit his particular spot or? Yeah, her goal is to hit the blue. So she'll be playing the one and the two. So that small mark on the wall is what Tanisha should be trying to hit. You know, I get my one-on-ones, you know, small group, you know, three to four. Sometimes I go with eight. Sometimes we'll do a team setting. So it's different ways that I can help um, each of the players out, but also more importantly, help us become more efficient offensively as a team. We've now made our way past Thanksgiving. The holiday season is in full swing as are many main programs. With that in mind, let's take a look at the upcoming schedule. That wraps it up for this episode of the Black Bear Insider. Thank you very much for joining us. If you want to know more about your favorite teams before we join you again, go to goblackbears.com. They've got all the scores, stats, and highlights you could possibly need. Until we see you again, we will say, Go Black Bears!